Hi, I am Mukesh Kumar. Welcome to my channel. I am back with the new video on how to draw and render sequence. However, I have tried to cover all the aspects uh, that is figure drawing, draping the garment, that is putting on the garment on the figure and rendering as well. Hope you like it. First, I will start with the figure drawing. Right, for the figure drawing, you have to take heads first and the head may be of uh, this uh, level, right? The thumb. So, I have taken one head as this. I have to calculate this measurement, this measurement and divide it into 10 heads. I am going to make a figure of 10 heads. Now, the head first. This is uh, one and one and half is the level for the shoulder. And the shoulder width is one and half of the head. Three and half is the space for the waist and the waist is equal to the head. From the waist, what I will do, I will keep some movement to it, slant the waist and the hip up and the width of the waist is equal to the shoulder. And now the leg, one of the leg will fall at this plumb line or you may say the balance line and six and a half is the space for the knee and ninth head is for the ankle After finalizing the, the figure as well as the garment you have draped, let's start uh, putting on the sequin, right? Rendering sequin onto all these three garments. This is going to be a black sequin and this is going to be emerald, a green and this is going to be multicolored. Now, before we start, let's understand about the sequin, right? How the sequin are constructed. I have an example. I have a coaster made of sequin. Uh, now you can see all these sequins are being uh, overlapped by the another, right? If you can see and when it's move, uh, when it is away from the source of light, that is darkened, right? Some of the sequence signs and some of the sequence are of mid-tone and some of the sequence are of darker tone, right? So this is the construction. If you can see, the one of the sequence is beneath the another. Now I will start uh, rendering this uh, corset with a black color that is uh, an ink color with me. So I put on some ink color in a one of the uh, area and then I will make 
shades or tints of it we have to achieve the gradation that it, it that means it should be gradually done before we start let's uh, what to do let's i, I will uh, make an another corset and then explain you things in a proper way what you have to do make this sequence like this one sequence is been overlapped by the another and at the edges it should not be very uh, sharp now take the lightest stone this is this was the lightest stone i put some color over it and left some spaces blank the shadow of the the topmost uh, sequin is there on the the, the under uh, sequin right and then the darker one a bit darker let's start making onto the actual sketch so i have taken the lightest tone and start making it the darkest one just below the bust line here you can see that the the cloth there is an upward turn over here is a highlight over here and this is an inward curve let's make this uh, emerald green sequin dress for what 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 i have done i have taken emerald green color the process remains the same 
So what we will start with is the tint only, the lighter shade and then move towards the darker one. So I have made the sketch. Now you have to uh, keep in mind two of the important, very important uh, points that this is there are a lot of folds, right? So the fold which is going inside the inward curve where you have to uh, darken the folds and then which is the area which is coming out you have to highlight that those areas and the sequin will uh, will be much more visible at the outmost curve of any of the areas right I have taken a darker green color and then highlight uh, darken the shades a bit and finalize the thing. Now let's make a multicolored sequined dress is orange, blue, crimson red, violet, yellow and scarlet I will put this color as well as lot of water into it let's start making it I will do the wash technique it is dried we'll take an, again the same colors and where there is uh, orange you may use orange strokes where there is blue use blue strokes to make semicircular kind of 
sequin you are actually doing the seats you are showing the shadows Now you may use uh, black uh, stapler, pencil colors and make it more darker wherever it is needed to give the shadow part just to add on sparkle to it, shine to it. Last if you want to add some glitter to it you can add with the the color for an example this is a golden color that is you can use use with the yellow color So here you are with three different kind of sequin rendering. Uh, if you really liked and loved it, please do like, subscribe and drop some questions. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching this video.